Hi everybody, happy Sunday. Today is June 17th. This is going to be my weekly wrap-up video for last week and this week because last week I was on the road. We didn't really finish anything and yeah. So, um, in the last two weeks I got through the audio version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stig Larson. This one was actually pretty good. It actually held my son's attention. So he's 20. I wasn't sure what we were going to listen to. There's only so much, so many times you can listen to the Hamilton soundtrack and not get bored with it. I love you. Hamilton is fantastic. But yeah. So we listened to this. It was actually really good. I wanted to start listening to the Girl Who Played With Fire, but I ended up starting to listen to a different book. I wish I hadn't and finished continued with the series. Um, also finished today, about half an hour ago, finally finished Raven Strike by Patricia Briggs. So the font on this is, to me, is super tiny. It's probably regular font size for most paperback books. I don't remember it ever really being this small, though. So I'm trying to find the year that this was done. Uh, 2005. So, not a bad book. Uh, it's the second part in the duology of... It's Raven's Shadow and then Raven's Strike. Continues the story of Seraph, Tyr, and their family, and Shadowed, and... You knew who the Shadowed was based off the prologue. You, you kind of saw it coming. And then... Once Foran showed up and everything else started to happen, you you knew what was going to going to happen. So good book. Glad it's finally over. Mark this off my list. Then I finished. I gotta get my phone for this one because I returned these two books already to the library. Finished Midnight Crossroad by Char Charlene Harris. Not a bad book. I am picking up Day Shift this week, though, so we'll see what the continuation is and how that goes. And then I finished the second volume of the Wires and Nerve duology, Volume 2, Gone Rogue, about Aiko and Cinder and what happens between one novella in... One novella in Stars Above, so one of the short stories in that book... And then winter. So from the end of winter until I just had it, stars above, um, Wires and Nerve takes place. A year after Cinder has been made queen and just, yeah, it was, it was a good graphic novel. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad that's done too. So those are the four books that I read this week. I am currently listening to the audio version of Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I wanted to pick up Still Me, and I actually did at one point, but I returned it because I wanted to listen to something else. So there's that. Um, new books this week. I will post the links to the library hall in the description box below so you guys can go check out what I picked up from the library. All of these plus more wonderful books. My wife is like, no more books. Read the stuff on your shelves. No more books. So, before she said that, other new books this week. <laughs> she just glared at me from the kitchen. So, other new books this week. I picked up the next four books in the Maggie Hope Mysteries from Value Village. And it was buy four, get one free. So, I picked up Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. Seen the movie, have not read the book. The movie was a great psychological thrill. What I think of as a psychological thriller. So I'm hoping the book is really good too. I have not read the first Maggie Hope book. And I need to get to that within the next couple of weeks. So that is definitely on my summer TBR. So, those are all the new books. Um, I will link the unhaul video in the description box below as well. So you guys can go see the 74 books that I am unhauling in the next week. So, with that... I think that's all the new books that I got. Um, oh, I picked up the audiobook of Anna Dressed in Blood and then the audiobook of All the Light We Cannot See. 
by Anthony Dewar. I'm trying to see if it's on my shelf behind me. It's not. Um, but I picked those two audiobooks up this week just to have something different to listen to. And I may return The Husband's Secret without listening to it because I'm I'm not at that point right now. So, um, good news is Overdrive has no holes on it, so that's always great. So, with that, I hope you guys are having a great week. And had a great week. Had a great two weeks because it's been two weeks since I've talked to you guys outside of hauls and unhauls. And, yeah, I will talk to you guys later this week. Bye.